Hello. Well, it's finally here. My Carbon Mobile, Carbon One Mark II, the world's first carbon fibre smartphone has finally arrived. Uh, first things, I'm recording this on a Smartisan Nut Pro smartphone. Uh, and I know it has the tendency for the focus to keep refocusing, so if the focus constantly keeps shifting in and out, uh, I apologise, it's the phone, I can't do anything about it, it's always done it. Hopefully the camera on the uh, Carbon One won't do the same. So, what is the Carbon One? The Carbon One is the world's first carbon fibre smartphone. It's got revolutionary carbon fibre technology. German engineering perfection and cutting edge material colliding to unlock the future of mobile. And the carbon mobile tagline for this is meet the impossible. It's taken ages to get here. I've been waiting for it for a long time. I ordered it in late April of 2020. There's been delays with the actual material at carbon mobile's end, uh, the pandemic, the has thrown things right out. I should have actually received this uh, around about June of 2020, but uh, it's now um, uh, uh, mid-March, isn't it? It's the 11th of March today. Uh, mid-March 2021, so it's taken a long, long time to come. The pandemic threw things out. Uh, then when they finally got them actually manufactured they had problems with them being delivered to germany um, the last delivery date would actually i the, the release when it was released from china was around about uh, mid-february but for one reason and another whether you can blame it on brexit whether you can blame it on the customs whether you can blame it on federal express it's taken a long time to get here but it's finally arrived so let's open it up and we'll have a look. So carbon fibre, it's made of, which is claimed to be stronger than steel, yet lighter than aluminium. The upshot of this is that the phone itself uh, is only going to weigh 125 grams, with the average smartphone weighing 182 grams. And also, because they've built it, uh, they've actually used the cabinet as the frame for all the electronics and the battery and what have you that's in there, it allows it to be thinner. So it's only 6.3 millimeters uh, thick, uh, whereas the average smartphone is supposed to be 8.3 millimeters thick. Um, what else have we got to tell you about it before we actually get to it? The box is made um, of fully recyclable material. Uh, one of Carbon Mobile's um, mantras is minimal design and minimal emissions. So the box is made out of mono paper card, uh, which is fully recyclable. Carbon Mobile have also partnered or sponsored a company that for every Carbon Mobile that is sold, they will remove 500 grams plastic from, uh, I believe it's from the oceans, but I could be wrong on that, for every one sold. So for every one sold, uh, 500 grams of plastic will be removed. Now before it was released, Carbon Mobile said that the um, packaging would be the thinnest packaging used for a smartphone. And they showed some pictures of it. They showed me the pictures of it on the... Um, let's turn it over. Might as well have a look at the backside. Uh, they showed me some pictures of it uh, on the website before they were dispatched. And I thought, that doesn't look that thin. I've owned quite a number of smartphones over the years. And a few of them have come in thin packaging. So, that's the Carbon Mobile. I've also got... Uh, the packaging for this is for a next bit robin which is one that I or imported from the US and as you can see that is very slightly thinner and I had a Wiley Fox uh, and a Wiley Fox being a UK made or a UK brand but Chinese made electronics and that is about the same I've got some calipers so if we zero the calipers we can measure the carbon one box and I'm getting 24.7 millimetres. 
the next bit Robin 21.7 it's about three millimeters less and the Wiley Fox 23.5 so actually those are both ever so slightly slimmer uh, once I raised this issue with uh, the um, founders of Carbon Mobile they did revise it and they said that it was the um, the thinnest packaging used for a mass-produced smartphone. So, uh, whether that uh, makes any difference or not, I don't know. So, we've got our carbon one. Let's open up the box and have a look. Um, so, as I say, all this is uh, mono paper. It's fully recyclable. Inside, we've got our charging lead, which is a USB-C to USB-C. We've got some paperwork. We've got a USB-C to USB-A adapter that will go on the end of the charging lead to allow me to plug it into a standard charger. We've got a welcome note, some warranty. Oh, I see it's English on one side and uh, German on the other, I presume. They are a German company, so I imagine it's German. Warranty and guarantee. We've got a message from Firas, uh, which does actually look as though he might have signed it himself. Uh, Firas being the founder of Carbon Mobile, it's taken him a long time to uh, get from his vision to the actual smartphone being delivered to me. And then we've got the phone itself. And we can see that it is indeed very thin. Let's get the... So I'm getting 6.7 now. Um, it could be that my uh, calipers are out, they weren't expensive. Uh, definitely getting 6.7, so 6.7. And we can weigh it, see how much it weighs. I've turned the um, scale sideways because when I checked the camera earlier on before the actual delivery, uh, it shows up on the camera better with the scales turned sideways. Uh, well, 130, that's not far off. Uh, what was it claimed? 125 grams is what was claimed, so that's not far off, is it? Uh, by way of comparison, here is the Wiley Fox, which my wife was using up until a couple of weeks ago. You'll see it's cracked, so she's no longer using that. She's actually using, the phone that my wife's using is a um, an Oppo R5 and the Oppo R5 when it was produced was the thinnest the world's thinnest smartphone um, and it I mean the Oppo I can't remember what it is it's something like four millimeters it's absolutely wafer thin so we've got 154 grams for the Wiley Fox uh, we said 130 for the carbon mobile and my actual phone which I just have to reach behind me for. Uh, the one that I'm currently using, I'm currently using a uh, TCL 10 Pro. And the TCL 10 Pro uh, weighs uh, 180, so that's quite a lot less, isn't it? By comparison, that's sort of not, not in substantial amount less. What else have we got to do? Well, I suppose we're going to have to switch it on, aren't we? So the specifications of it are that it weighs 125 grams. The dimensions of it are 74 by 153 by 6.3. Although, as I say, we've actually measured it at slightly, slightly more than 6.3. It's got a 6-inch AMOLED 2160 by 1080 pixel screen, 256 gigabytes of um, storage with 8 gigabytes of RAM. The 256 gigabyte storage is UFS 2.1. That means anything. 
3000 milliamp hour battery, MediaTek P90 processor. It's got a dual SIM, so it's got dual SIM, or you can use one of the SIM card slots uh, for micro SD. 4G, not 5G capable on the radio. Uh, it's got 5 gigahertz Wi Fi, Bluetooth 5, NFC, so you can use it for tap and pay, a 20 megapixel front camera, and a 16 megapixel rear camera. So, let me switch it on. Oh, we'll just take the screen protector off. Otherwise, we won't be able to see. on it is. I particularly liked the design of it. That's one of the things that attracted me to it was that it was square, unashamedly square um, and I've always liked that. The um, the phone that I'm actually filming this on, the Smartisan, is much the same sort of shape. So it's a very similar shape. We've got a coloured display I don't know if you can see that under the lights, but you'll see that it lights up uh, on the back there. The Carbon Mobile logo actually illuminates. If I turn it off, so that's it off and that's it on. Uh, once uh, the software has been finalised, that's going to be able to light up in custom colours in order to uh, show different notifications in different colours so that you know what whether you've had a text, a... Uh, email or a WhatsApp notification, you can be able to customise those. Uh, it's quite a neat design, I can't deny it. It's got a fingerprint reader, so we've got a fingerprint reader here. We've got uh, power on and off, volume up and down. The SIM card slot on the side. USB-C for charging. And I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but it does actually say carbon white mark mark. Carbon 1 Mark II Founder Edition. This is one of the very first ones produced. I paid for mine in advance, as I say, way back in April, uh, late April, early May. Uh, and uh, the founders got the very first edition, if you like to call it that. Carbon Mobile also claim that repairability is one of their core um, Beliefs. They don't want to add to e-waste so that uh, it's designed to be um, repaired easily. Um, the screen should lift out without too much difficulty and you should be able to replace things like the battery or the screen should they become damaged. Uh, the carbon fibre forms a monocoque. So the actual body that you see here is uh, it's got mouldings inside it that the electronics screw into. One of the problems that they had, and the reason why it's, uh, list the, the carbon, say, meet the impossible, uh, is that carbon fibre itself, the actual carbon fibre, is conductive. And because of that, um, when you wrap it around the electronics, it essentially prevents the radio waves, such as your mobile signal, your Wi-Fi signal, being able to get to the antennas inside there. So once you actually put the electronics in the, the case, you'd end up with no signal, which means that obviously it wouldn't work. Uh, so they've developed a patented technology which is called HIRECOM, which stands for Hybrid Radio Enabled Composite Material. And the HIRECOM technology took four years to develop. Uh, this, as I say, it's a Carbon 1 Mark II. There was a Carbon 1 Mark I released a few years, sorry, developed a few years ago. Uh, as proof of concept and from that they then went on to produce the Carbon 1 Mark II. The Carbon 1 Mark I was only ever shown as a sort of development unit. It never actually made it out into the marketplace uh, and a total of four years worth of research has gone into making a carbon mobile phone. Uh, everyone they approached to ask about making phones out of carbon fibre for the sustainability aspects of it, said it couldn't be done. Uh, this is proof that it can be done. Uh, and finally, 
They are available to purchase in the continent. They're available to purchase uh, in stores at Media Markt, Conrad and Digitech.ch, which I understand is Switzerland. Uh, they cost 799 euros. Um, you can also order them directly, as I did, uh, from Carbon Mobile's website, which is, uh, I think it's carbonmobile.com. Um, I'm going to set this up, I'm going to install my apps on it, and then hopefully I'll be able to do a video at some point, uh, which will have more details on it. Uh, it's currently running, I should say, there's, it's currently running Android 10, but it's due an upgrade to Android 11 in the second quarter of the year. Uh, they've promised two years of software updates with monthly security updates, and in order to make it as thin as they have done, they uh, partnered with Gorilla Glass, and it's got Gorilla Glass Victors, which has a 0.4 millimeter thick um, piece of glass to, to protect the screen. Uh, it's the th currently the thinnest security glass that uh, is available. Well, that's it. That's my carbon mobile. I'm going to press the start. I'm going to get ready and install it. And then hopefully we'll have a, a video later on which shows me actually using it. Thank you for watching.